Welcome, everyone. It is 7 o'clock, Monday, May 16th, and it's time for the regular session of the Grinnell City Council. So with that, we'll call the meeting to order and uh, roll call, please. White. Bly. Yes. Davis. Ray. Yes. Hefley Worley. Yes. Guard. Yes. And next item is perfecting an approval of the agenda. What is your... So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? Health request. Roll call, please. White. Guard? Yes. Bly? Yes. Ray? Yes. Hefley Worley? Yes. Next item is consent agenda. What is your pleasure? I move the consent agenda as presented. Yeah. Move and seconded. Discussion? Call for question. Roll call, please. Hefley Worley? Yes. Guard? Yes. White? Yes. Bly? Yes. Ray? Yes. Next item on the agenda is a listing of meeting minutes and communication. Several of our uh, commission and committee members uh, have reported back. Uh, Treasurer's report, police report, and building uh, permit report. Those can all be found on the uh, city website. So we will not discuss those, but you can go there for those uh, reports. Move into committee business, finance committee. Thank you, Mayor Agnew. The finance committee met this morning at 8 a.m. in the second floor conference room. There were 13 items on the agenda and there were no inquiries. The first is a resolution fixing date uh, for a meeting of, on the obligation for a loan agreement and issuance of not to exceed 8,700,000 of GO capital loan notes for the city of Grinnell. Um, this issuance of debt, uh, we plan to repay with revenue from local option sales tax. The new amount is $5 million and the additional amount is refinancing of current debt. And we are hoping we get this issuance just under the wire to avoid higher interest rates. And so items one, two, and three are all actually tied together. So on behalf of the committee, I move resolution 2022-82, setting the uh, date and time for the meeting on June 6, uh, 2022 at 7 p.m. Second. Move and second to discussion. Call for the question. Roll call, please. Ray. Yes. White. Yes. Bly. Yes. Hefley Worley? Yes. Guard? Yes. And I should also include in here that some of the projects listed are Prairie Street from 11th Avenue to 13th, Reed Street from 11th Avenue to 14th, Spencer Street from 11th Avenue to Van Horn Park, Sunset Street from 13th Avenue to 14th Avenue, Broad Street from 6th Avenue to 8th Avenue, Spring Street from 1st Avenue to 8th Avenue subject to change of scope, Iowa Highway 146 Rebuild and Enhancements, Cemetery Roads, Maintenance of Public Safety Building, Library, and Aquatic Center, Park Shelter Building Maintenance Improvements. Item number two is, once again, fixing a date for a meeting on the authorization of a loan agreement not to exceed 1300000 of GO bonds. Uh, once again, the date for this is June 6, uh, 2022. On behalf of the committee, I so move Resolution 2022-83. Second. Move and second to discussion. Call for the question. Roll call, please, Ann. Ray? Yes. <clears throat> Bly? Yes. Hefley Worley? Yes. Guard? Yes. White? Yes. Uh, the next item, once again, is fixing the date for a meeting on the authorization of a loan agreement and issuance not to exceed 700000 of GO uh, capital loan notes. Uh, this is for essential corporate purposes and providing the publication thereof. On behalf of the committee, I still move resolution 2022-84. Second. Move and second to discussion. Call for the question. Call, please. Ray? Yes. White? Yes. Bly? Yes. Hefley Worley? Yes. Guard? Yes. Uh, the next item is a resolution setting a public hearing for June 6, 2022, at 7 p.m. for the fiscal year 22 budget amendment. Uh, the biggest item on this is the 1111th Avenue for redevelopment, uh, we're going to incur most of the costs in fiscal year 22, but we're not sure when the revenue will uh, arrive, so we're erring on the side of caution, and uh, we are completing the amendment as necessary. On behalf of the committee, I submit with resolution 2022-94. Second. Move and second to discussion. Roll call, please. Ray? Yes. Bly? Yes. Hefley Worley? Yes. Guard? Yes. White? Yes. Uh, item number five is the first reading of an ordinance amending the provisions pertaining to water rates. Uh, we're recommending a 7.5% increase, which aligns with the uh, CPI for the past 12 months. On behalf of the committee, I so move the first reading of ordinance number 1515. Second. Move and second the discussion. 
Call for the question. Roll, please. Ray? Yes. White? Yes. Bly? Yes. Effley Worley? Yes. Garg? Yes. Uh, item number six is the first reading of an ordinance amending provisions pertaining to sewer use user charges. Uh, this we are recommending a 5% increase for sanitary sewer fees. On behalf of the committee, I so move the first reading of ordinance 1515. Yep. Move second in discussion. Call for the question. Roll call, please, Ann. Ray? Yes. Bly? Yes. Ethley Worley? Yes. Garg? Yes. White? Yes. The next item, number seven, is setting the stormwater utility rates effective July 1, 2022. Uh, we're recommending a rate increase of 3% for stormwater utility fees. On behalf of the committee, I so move the first reading. Uh, I'm sorry, the resolution setting them. Uh, this is resolution 2022-95. Second. Move and second at discussion. Call for the question. Roll call, please. Ray? Yes. White? Yes. Bly? Yes. Effley Worley? Yes. Garg? Yes. We're losing count over here. <laughs> <laughs> we're losing what? Count. Odds and evens. We're, we're evens never mind. Second. Oh, we are just okay. losing count. Sorry, over here. <laughs> I was I was wandering. <laughs> Pay attention. I was paying attention. I was reading. <laughs> okay, item number eight is a resolution adopting city fees and policies for rental services for the city of Grinnell. This is resolution twenty twenty two dash ninety six, and you can look at these changes on the city website. On behalf of the committee, I so move resolution twenty twenty. Dash 96. Second. Move and second at discussion. The question. We'll call, please. Ray? Yes. Bly? Yes. Hefley Worley? Yes. Garg? Yes. White? Yes. Um, and I should put in there, were these the only ones that were changed? The the uh, rental, the airport hangar? Okay. Uh, I, sh I should go back and say that what changed in the policy was uh, rental policy of the summer of changes, airport hangar rental rates, Grinnell Mutual, Family Aquatic Center, Grinnell Mutual. Okay, this is the hours of operation. And the next one is uh, private pool party rates and requirements, two week notice, and the cemetery rates have increased also. Uh, item number nine is consider request for exterior building maintenance for the Stewart Library, Grinnell Area Arts Council. Tom uh, Lucina appeared before us this morning. And they have a list of items of planned repairs in 2022, um, $3,880 hatch in the flat area of South Rooster Access, $5,000 estimate for roof repair assessed after which roof hatch, $21,967 to waterproof the exterior wall of lower level classroom and other things, $12,750 tuck pointing cleaning limestone patch stone, and uh, for a total of 43597 of which they have donations of 38665 uh, to date. They also have other things that are going to be determined. And so um, we, we discussed this, and on behalf of the committee, I so move to send this to staff for recommendation to um, Tom and ask specifically for the tuck pointing. And so I'm making a motion to uh, ask staff to make a recommendation for um, subsidizing the tuck pointing and cleaning of the limestone. Second. Move and second to discussion. Call for question. We'll call, please. Ray? Yes. White? Yes. Bly? Yes. Effley Worley? Yes. Bard? Yes. Uh, item 10 was a consider request from Overland Park property for property tax. Um, let's see here. For their apartment project at Industrial Avenue, the reserves of South Lake. Uh, we have a discussion about this, and on behalf of the committee, I so move to direct staff to draft a uh, three year TIF agreement. Second. Move and second to discussion. Call for the question. Roll call, please. Ray? Yes. Bly? Yes. Effley Worley? Yes. Guard? Yes. White? Yes. Uh, item number 11 is consider extending the agreement with bird rides through June 2023 renewable for success, successive six month terms thereafter unless terminated by either party. And so I would make a motion to extend the agreement with the, the contingent with the staff strongly urging 
bird ride staff to do a better job of retrieving the scooters on a timely basis. Second. Move a second to discussion. Call for the question. Roll call, please. Ray? Yes. White? Yes. Bly? Yes. Ethley Worley? Yes. Guard? Item number 12 is consider allocation of $2,500 for the City of Grinnell volunteer event. We talked about that and we talked about some dates, which I think we assume will be around April 2023. Yes. Okay, on behalf of the committee, I still move. Move to second the discussion. Call for the question. Roll call, please. Ray? Yes. Bly? Yes. Ethley Worley? Yes. Bard? Yes. White? Yes. Uh, the last item is discuss update to our funeral week policy. In the past, we had a lot more traditional uh, funerals. There have been delays in funerals. Uh, some people are choosing not to have funerals or something you know, organized like that. And so we're looking at a change in our funeral leave policy to a bereavement leave. And so on behalf of the committee, I would uh, authorize the staff to come back with wording for a bereavement policy for us to review and uh, make a change to our funeral policy. Second. Move to second the discussion. Call for the question. Roll call, please. Ray? Yes. White? Yes. Bly? Yes. Ethley Worley? Yes. Garg? Yes. And that completes my report. Thank you very much. Next, report from Public Works and Grounds. Thank you, Your Honor. The Public Works and Grounds Committee met here in the Council Chamber at 5.30 this evening. We took up four items and we had no inquiries. Our first item was consideration of a resolution setting a public hearing on the proposed uh, plans, specifications, et cetera, et cetera, uh, for construction uh, to set the, uh, the date to res uh, for that public hearing on June 6, 2022 at 7 p.m. Uh, for work on the 4th Avenue Bridge Project. With the committee's recommendation, I move resolution 2022-97. Second. Move and second to discussion. Offer the question. Roll call, please. Ethley Worley? Yes. Ray? Yes. Bard? Yes. White? Yes. Bly? Yes. Thank you. Our right. second item was consideration of a request from the Parks and Recreation Board to rename the playground area and shelter house at Arbor Lake uh, to Lions Park. Uh, the Lions Club has been working for years to improve parks in town. Uh, they've taken this one under their wing and this seems like an appropriate request. And so the committee recommends and I therefore move that we grant that request. Second. Move and second the discussion. Call for question. Roll call please. Clay Worley. Guard. Yes. White. Yes. Bly. Yes. Ray. Yes. Thank you. Our third item was consideration of a request again from the Parks and Recreation Board to allow the Isaac Walton League volunteers to help work with uh, saplings, brush, and trees to improve the quality of the property uh, at Arbor Lake under the supervision of city staff. Uh, they would be working uh, directly with the city staff and uh, helping to clean up that property and make some improvements. So with the committee's recommendation, I move granting that request. Second. Move and second the discussion. Call for the question. Roll call, please. Ethley Worley? Yes. Ray? Yes. Guard? Yes. White? Yes. Bly? Yes. Thank you. And our fourth and final item was to receive water treatment plant proposals. We are working towards replacing the existing water plant, and we've received proposals from three different very fine engineering firms. Uh, city staff uh, will be tr uh, touring several plants that each of those companies have put in and hearing from those, uh, both those companies and the cities that they're serving. Uh, they'll be touring those later in this week, uh, and then we expect they will be bringing back uh, their information to us in uh, late June or the first uh, meeting in July. So there's no action to take there, but we are moving forward. And unless there are any questions or corrections, that would complete my report. Thank you very much. Next, report from Public Safety Committee. Thank you, Your Honor. We met tonight. We had two items. The first was consider a resolution approving a 28E agreement with Pouchik Animal Rescue League Shelter and Humane Society, more commonly called PALS, for Animal Shelter Service. So on behalf of the committee, I move resolution 20-22-98.
Second. Move for second in discussion. For question. Roll call, please. White. Yes. Effley Worley. Yes. Bly. Yes. Ray. Yes. Thank you very much. Our second item was consider an approval for the fireworks display. Uh, we received a bill through uh, Hotel Motel. Uh, the cost of fireworks has went up 25%. And so on behalf of the committee, uh, we continued with the same uh, giving that we do with the same fireworks that we have. And so on behalf of the committee, I so move uh, we authorize this. Second. Move to second in discussion. Call for question. Roll call, please. White. Hefley Worley. Yes. Guard. Yes. Bly. Yes. Ray. Yes. Thank you very much. And that concludes. But I would like to just say uh, this week, if you folks would uh, please remember this is uh, National Police Memorial Week. Uh, tonight at 430, we had at the Public Safety Building a uh, remembrance for our, our two police officers, Ralph Ogan and Warren Vinegar, who were killed in the line of action as police officers. So if you could remember them and their families at this time and all the other uh, police officers that have uh, lost their lives this week would be much appreciated. And if you see some of the men and women in blue, to thank them for putting their lives on the line for all that they do for us with you know, something. We hoped nothing would happen to them, but I mean, in the case of Officer Vinegar, he was only a police officer five days and lost his life. So I mean, it can happen. So just keep them in your thoughts and prayers. I'd appreciate it. And with that being said, that concludes my report. Thank you very much. And, uh, there was no planning committee meeting tonight. Are there any inquiries? One at a time. <laughs> there's somebody. Oh, there's somebody. All right, hearing none, we are adjourned, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.